guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing some cooking today we are doing a home made vegetable soup so everything's from scratch um basically my nan used to do this my mum used to do this and now i'm doing it i'm not particularly sure how many calories or how many sins this is because I'm literally making it on my own, no recipe whatsoever. I'm just following what my nan used to do and what my mum used to do. So I have all the ingredients ready to go. So let's go and check them out and see what we're putting in. Let's do this. So what we're gonna need is cauliflower and green beans. A chicken, one stick it, chicken stock cube a tin of peas and carrots three potatoes and cornstarch if it's a bit runny we might not have to use this but to start this recipe off we are going to cut and take the skin off of these potatoes to start with and then Put all of this and the peas in a massive pan to boil um, to make sure that it's soft and then so let's get on with the potatoes because we all know that how long potatoes take to cut and peel and so I will be back once I have done so I've already done two so now on to the next one didn't realise it would be so... <laughs> but we're going to cut it. If you hear the washing machine in the background, I am so sorry. But this is normal life, isn't it? <laughs> you have the washing machine in the background, you have noises in the background. So I'm just peeling the skin off these potatoes. Um, it does take a lot of work um, if you have like a special gadget to help you. I only have a knife, so it takes time to do it. That's why I did two off camera, because it's a lot of work. So then once you've peeled these, you cut them into four and then put them in the bowl with the cauliflower and the green beans. And then we move on to the peas and the carrots. Again, you can do whatever you want to a soup. Again, it is up to you. Um, it doesn't have to be Pacific stuff. If you want to make a vegetable soup with potatoes in, uh, carrots in, peas, broccoli, whatever you can. This is just a typical thing that I have done with my mum and my nan. They have done it this way and then you can... So I have done... I am cutting the potatoes. If you're doing this, make sure there's an adult there to help you. So you're just bunging them in there. Um, I've had to use <laughs> my phone, my camera died. Typical. So. so everything is in there. That is the cauliflower the green beans and the potatoes so now we're going to bung it over on start to boil so we're going to fill the pan with hot water it's always good to start with hot water so then it will get boiling so now we're going to get the potatoes and slowly them in the pan so now we've got the carrots and peas we're going to put them in a bowl 
and then transfer them into so now we've got the peas and the carrots in the bowl we're going to now and we've drained them oh, smell lovely now we're going to put them in the pan to boil with the rest so let's do this so now we're gonna place them in the bowl obviously it would take a bit longer than usual because of to the blender so I'm just going to tidy up around here and then I will be back once that is done. So we're going to put the stock cube in. This is, this is what happens when you don't charge your uh, camera. So you get one of the stock cubes. I got the chicken ones. You get 18 little cubes in a pack. So I've never used a stock cube. So... So we're going to open it up, it actually smells like very curry, curry as well, so the stock cube is just literally like that. So we're going to bung it in with everything like that and then just wait until everything is done and then we can start the ball rolling with the blender i've never used my new blender before so this will be the first time using it and i can't wait so we're going to check on this in a little while see how it's going it will take a while because like i said the cauliflower and the green beans are frozen they were frozen so while that is cooking and doing very very well i am going to do some tidying up and then i will be back with an update in a little so it is now done so what we're going to do well what i'm going to do is put this into the bowl drain it and then let it cool down once it's cool so now we've drained it we're going to watch and make sure that it's cooled down just look at the water, the juice. So nice with that stock cube in. So yummy. So wait for this to cool down. And then once it's cooled down, we're going to put it in the blender and have some fun. So this is the juice. It's a bit watery. So what I'm going to do is put tablespoon of cornstarch in for it to be a little bit more thicker and see how we get on. I'm just going to put the cornstarch in and we're just going to stir just to make the juice a bit more thicker. Again you don't have to if you want your juice to be very watery then that is entirely so now, now we've got this the sauce is still watery so we're just hoping for the best so now we're going to start result um, so I'm going to dish it up now it looks like baby food <laughs> But my mum had just a taste and she said it was really, really nice. So let's dish it up and see how we get on. So it's lovely and thick. So that is the finished product. I know it's been a lot of uh, a wire and but this is the finished product. Some people might think this is ick. So I'm going to try a bit. Oh my god, that is so nice. I normally just uh, like the plain tomato soup, but... So if you like these type of videos, give it a big massive thumbs up, subscribe down below, 
do not forget to click that notification bell and let me know in the comment section below what else you would like to see from me. Again, I'm still a learner, I'm still a beginner, I'm gonna muck up, I'm gonna get things wrong, some things don't look appetising, but it's all about the taste. And now guys, see ya!